Let me show you how I got from this to this using some of the new tools that we have inside of Adobe Substance 3D Painter. This new tool called the Auto Update is amazing. I have this file here inside of Photoshop where I'm planning all of my elements using the UVs of my mesh. And the only thing I need to do is go here to the bottom section of my assets folder and make sure that the assets panel and then the resources used in this project are turned on. If I do any change, save this file, it will automatically update inside of Substance with all of the generators that you might be using. This is my current mask. It's okay, but it's not great. I'm going to blur it real quick with a blur generator and you can see that we get a little bit more depth. Then I'm going to use this new bevel smooth filter, which will allow me to change how this thing looks. We get a very nice sharp blend right there on the corners of my carving. If I mix another blur slope and set this to max, I can use this to break up the silhouette a little bit more and give myself a more realistic effect. So if you combine this process right here along with the traditional stuff inside of Substance, you're gonna be able to achieve a very nice looking effect. If you wanna learn more, check out the full YouTube video on my channel.